Focus on the important stuff. XTRF takes care of the paperwork so you can take back control of your schedule. Our fully automated workflows and vendor billing takes all the stress out of those urgent requests. And if that wasn't enough, your clients can securely monitor the progress of their projects themselves. That means fewer emails for you to deal with. Did we mention our platform is fully customizable too? XTRF's team of experts can handle anything from cat tool to accounting system integration. We could go on, but the benefits are endless. So if your company is in need of a productivity boost or your project managers can barely keep their heads above water, then let's talk. XTRF has the solution you need. XTRF, translation made simple. Visit our website, xtrf.eu. Let's talk about your business. Uh, Paulina, thank you so much for joining me today. I've been using XTRF with some of my clients, so I was really curious about um, other features that I may not be aware of because I only work as a translator with agencies. So I just wanted to have an overview of what XTRF can offer other people. Mm -hmm. So if you could just introduce yourself and talk a little bit about how XTRF was first conceived, that would be great. Sure. Uh, my name is Paulina Makles. I'm the head of global marketing at XTRF. Um, I've joined XTRF just um, a bit under two years ago. Um, and yeah, it's been a fun ride so far. Um, XTRF started as a very small LSP, a language services provider, um, which actually worked with just a single language. And it was started by um, our CEO, Dad. Um, and uh, yeah, our CEO, um, then being a young entrepreneur, uh, joined his dad uh, in that LSP and at some point decided to um, create something of his own. In the meantime, the, the business grew a bit and became a, a larger LSP and started servicing a wide range of language pairs and a wide range of, of clients. Um, but what was common across um, all these clients and, and all these projects was that um, managing complex projects uh, was a challenge. Um, because there were too many applications, too much software to manage, spreadsheets, uh, emails, etc. And it became a challenge to be able to keep all the information in one place and being a, be able to just simply manage the, the localization project simply. Um, and that's how XCRF was born. Uh, so uh, our CEO, Andrzej Nadoma, um, uh, decided to uh, go on to create his own company. XTRF that was roughly, um, I think, 11 years ago. And f at first, um, XTRF was a very simple tool with a very simple set of uh, things it could do. And it gradually, uh, um, it gradually grew into a, a software that it is now helping companies from small to uh, super large and enterprises manage uh, localization projects. And uh, the way I've been using XTRF is uh, project managers assign projects to me so I can just log mm -hmm. in and download the files and uh, upload files once I've completed the project. So it's really easy to streamline things for me as a language provider. So uh, how, other, how are the other ways that uh, companies can actually benefit from it? So um, XTRF is actually has three separate views, so to speak. It has a um, client portal where clients, um, LSPs clients can um, request uh, translation and localization. They just upload the files, request a quote or generate a quote automatically, send um, work to be done. And that's where the work lands in the home portal. The home portal is the uh, dashboard where um, PM and uh, people sitting in the LSP or sitting on the localization team are able to manage the projects. Um, and then there is the vendor side, vendor portal. So place where vendors can rec can see jobs that are assigned to them. Um, they can uh, download their POs, they can upload their invoices, manage um, paid and unpaid jobs, etc. cetera. Um, but, but the main hub where the actual work happens is the home portal. So. Uh, you can work with two separate views in, in home portal or manage projects in two, in two separate ways. Something we call classic projects and something we call smart projects. Um, 
the the backbone is the same uh, smart projects are simpler to manage um, both in terms of uh, setup and in terms of how they look um, or how they feel when you use them uh, classic projects require they're a bit more flexible in a sense that they have more um, we are able to add more customizations to it. You are able to um, add some flexibility to the workflows, um, but um, it's yeah, it might seem a bit more difficult to to manage. So it really depends on what um, what type of projects a company is managing. They will request either a smart view or a classic view. Some of them even use two of those, depending on what what works for them best. Okay, so it seems that you can escalate it a bit, a bit depending on your operations as an LSP, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how else can freelancers benefit from it? For example, some of my clients only upload a document that I can download, but others actually have a way to attach a link to a CAD tool. So I can work on that translation, not only downloading the project to take a look at the file, but also doing the translation itself inside a CAD tool. So uh, what are the options that uh, clients have to give that access to freelancers? So it depends on the on, on the integration that you choose with uh, with XTRF. You can work without any integrations, or you can request a CAD tool integration from a from a wide variety of of CAD tools that we integrate with, from XTM through MemoQ, uh, MemSource, etc. Um, so it really depends on 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 what um, integration the your XTM is is matched with. Um, we've recently, um, well, maybe not recently. It was more than half a year ago. We've launched uh, XTRF Chat, which is um, which is one of the ways to communicate uh, with vendors. Um, so either it works on on several platforms. It works as a mobile app. It works as a web app, and it works from the home portal um, view. Um, so PMs and PMs and vendors and and project coordinators can communicate within one environment and can send files, can send links within that within that environment, which obviously makes the communication much faster and much easier because you will have. Um, project uh, um, chat rooms where either you communicate directly with the PM or you communicate with the entire team of um, of freelancers or uh, linguists working on the project and you can ask general questions that might be relevant to uh, to other languages as well so it, it speeds up communication between um, both vendor to vendor and um, project manager or project coordinator to uh, to vendor Perfect. Wow, that uh, is something that I haven't used the ad with the chat function, but I can imagine for larger projects with more than one translator involved, that must be wonderful. So everybody can stay in touch and coordinate everything with mm -hmm. the project managers. The the idea was to um, eliminate emails and CCing people on emails or BCCing people on emails, because every time a project changes, a project manager, project coordinator has to email all those people involved in a project. And that can be 15 languages and three or four people working on one language. That's it's nearly impossible to keep all the people up to date in, in, in that um, case. So it's much easier just to send a message that you can see that someone has seen it, someone has read it. You can make sure that actually people are all the people involved in a project are on the same page. Perfect. And in your experience, uh, have you seen also that uh, language service providers are using XTRF to coordinate uh, audiovisual uh, projects such as subtitling or even interpreters? Does it work for them too? Yes, we've seen that. Although XTRF doesn't, um, in, a, in, a, in a very straightforward way, it doesn't support in its core um, subtitling projects or interpreting projects, we've seen our clients adapt um, the system through customizations uh, and through requesting custom implementations for them. Uh, use that, uh, use our system in um, in that regard. Um, there are several projects or several um, ideas that we have in terms of uh, interpreting and using XTRF for subtitling, but that's not something I am at liberty to talk about just yet. Okay, so that's news <laughs> that will come later on. Perfect. Yes, yes. And uh, 
what other information could you release to us as far as something that is uh, new or the other features that some clients have requested, both uh, clients L as LSPs or freelancers, if you get this kind of feedback of uh, other features that you could implement in the future. So can you share a little bit about more information? Sure. Uh, sure. So one of the uh, one of the most recent additions to uh, apart from XCRF chat has been Business Barometer. Um, it's uh, uh, something that is available for most of our clients. Um, it really depends on the amount of projects that you uh, run through XCRF. Uh, because it's based on, um, it has to be fed a certain amount of data to be useful. Um, so uh, what Business Barometer does is it analyzes the information that you feed into XCRF for you. Uh, so we, what it can tell you is, for instance, um, uh, why um, particular clients are rejecting your quote or how many quotes have been rejected in a particular amount of time. Um, you can use that information to gauge how your sales team is doing, how your PM team is doing. You can see which specializations are growing. You can see which ones are um, uh, decreasing. Uh, you can analyze the number of um, or the, the value of quotes that come from particular clients. And it really gives you an overview in time how your business is doing. And that's kind of a, it's a business intelligence in a, in a nutshell, in the sense that it, it doesn't necessarily offer um, all the uh, information that, for instance, um, Microsoft BI offers, obviously. But with the amount of data that you feed into, into XTRF, it's very useful and it can tell you a lot about your business. It gives you not only um, data in terms of numbers or in a table, like a simple report, but it shows you charts. Uh, so we can see trends um, happening uh, month to month and not only compare raw data and, and reports like it was available up until now in, in XTRF. And I think considering that we're still recovering from what has been happening in the past 18, 20 months, I think this is, a, this is something that has proven very useful to our clients, uh, especially because I do know that most of the capital, uh, sorry, most of the TMSs available on the market do offer flat reports where you just get data that you have to analyze yourself. Business Barometer gives that extra uh, dimension of analyzing that data for you and giving you actual charts where you can see something going up or down and you don't have to do that yourself. Okay, yeah, that's wonderful because I have a very small business. We are like a, a little network of translators. So we do mm -hmm. a lot of intuitive work from reading reports that we get. Uh, we don't have, you know, nice charts like you're describing right now. But mm -hmm. yeah, especially with the pandemic, we had a spike on certain kinds of projects. So I had to bring mm -hmm. in colleagues that I know could cover those projects. So I can understand yeah. the value of having an overview for a large business that deals with many more languages and many more specializations. So that's definitely something exciting about uh, the barometer, for small right? Businesses yeah, it's business parameter. Yeah, for for um, for smaller businesses, it's also super useful to be able to see that, uh, as you mentioned, you you might need to um, add additional language pairs, or maybe upsell some of the special specializations that you see, or maybe upsell some of the languages. It's um, uh, if if you have that that analyst in you, and you can see uh, you you look at a chart and you already see what that means. It's, it's very useful, regardless the, the size of the business. Perfect. And just to wrap it up, I'm curious about what does XTRF stand for? <laughs> it's funny because the, um, I asked that question myself when I joined the company. I asked our CEO, Andrei Nadoma, about that. And he said, well, we, we thought about something that doesn't stand for anything. We, we actually wanted to come up with a name that wouldn't be that wouldn't stand for anything. So that's, I don't really know, so we can make up what XCRF stands for. Um, I strongly believe that uh, TMS in our case stands for Translation Made Simple. Um, and we try to do that very much. But what XCRF stands for as a company, we, I think we focus very much on being flexible and being able to adapt to the market and adapt to the changing environment. We all know that localization is a super fast moving environment. There's 
each and every month there's new development, new tools, new software, new types of projects. We start going into new areas we've never dreamed of working with before. Um, we start working with uh, with AI, we start working with um, data annotation, you know, things that you would never think have anything to do with, uh, with localization, even though, you know, naturally kind of, yeah, it's language business still, right? Um, so what we what we believe in XTRF is definitely being able to adapt to those changes and being flexible, and that's what we focus on, and that's what we hear in our clients' feedback. That's what they appreciate most. Perfect. Oh, well, I hope that this short conversation that we had can help more people understand what XTRF is about, uh, and uh, from small businesses to big businesses, and also freelancers that are just. Uh, logging in to provide their service. I hope that uh, more people uh, can be aware of it and uh, see that it can really make life very simple. Yeah, <laughs> I Thanks. hope so too. Thank you so much, Paulina. Thanks very much. See you. See ya, bye. Make your translation processes simpler, faster, and better with XDRF, a translation management system that stands for Translation Made Simple. XTRF is made up of three integrated portals, the home, vendor, and client portals. Portals contain everything they each need for their part in the translation process. XTRF uses automation to help you work more efficiently every day, and it allows you to focus on work that really matters. XTRF is your one-stop shop for translation project management, but what we're most proud of is our flexibility. There are plenty of ways to tailor the system, right out of the box. And we also have a dedicated customization team. They can work with you to come up with a unique solution to suit your specific needs. Just imagine what you could achieve with a tool like this. The options are almost limitless. Whether you're a small translation department, a growing company, or a big multinational, XTRF can help. XTRF, translation made simple. Visit our website, xtrf.eu. Let's talk about your business.